Welcome, welcome, welcome to Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy. I am your host, Link to the Past Zero. And hey guys, we're going to start our new, so I'm going to start my new series in Spyro the Dragon. Um, as you can see on this little one over here, I have played through the, I played through Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon and completed them. And I played a little bit of Spyro the Dragon. But we're going to be jumping into a new save file so we can play through the entire trilogy. I will not be going for 100%. Just because the fact that I do not have the time and I do not have the patience to try that shit again. So, we're just going to be jumping right into Spire of the Dragon. Um, my plan is on these is to, we're going to be going, hopefully, we're going to be doing like two, two to three worlds an episode. So that gives us a good uh, amount of content. And uh, I will be jumping between this and a couple of other games as as I do it so I won't be putting out nothing but these episodes I'll be trying to cup do a couple of other games in between okay rolling oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds or is it six for a dragon's age we now have 12,000 treasure or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, <laughs> he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! I'll be honest with you, I kind of feel bad for him a little bit. Just a bit. Looks like I've got some things to do. Just a little bit. I, I feel I feel bad for Nasty for like just a tiny bit. Just because the fact that the, the dragons were kind of uh They were kind of making fun of him, slash, they were bad mouthing him a little bit there. Oh, I fucking love this game. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. <laughs> what about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So, basically, like I said, we're gonna we're basically gonna be playing through the game straight through. I will go for like. If I find gems and stuff like that, I'm gonna try. I'll try to go for as many of the gems as I can. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to uh, to uh, find stuff if uh, not during this playthrough. So, sorry guys. If you're expecting a 100% playthrough, you're kind of shit out of luck. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Sunny Flight, which we, for our purposes, we are going to completely ignore. Because fuck that place. I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of suck at flying levels. That's something you will find out real fucking quick about me, so. Let me go right over here. Cool flash! Do that again! Mm. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Yeah, 
if I don't talk too much, if I'm doing a bunch, if I'm not doing too much commentary, guys, it's basically because I'm still kind of, I'm still amazed at how well this game actually came out. I, because like I said, I have, I've, I've been playing it a little bit since it came out, but I'm still amazed and still just awestruck, because I grew up with these games. I grew up with the Spyro trilogy even more than the Crash trilogy. Because the Crash Trilogy, I actually never played Crash 1, and I only played a little bit of 2 before I did my Let's Play in it. Crash 3 was the only one I really spent any time with, but Spyro, I actually played Spyro 1, and Spyro 2 is still one of my favorite games of all time. Spyro 3, not so much, but Spyro 3, I didn't actually play too much of it when I was younger. So, but we'll get to that when we get to those games, so... Really? Oh, you. Whoa. Oh, you little crap shit. Get over here. Let us see. Got you. Got you. Anybody, if any of you out there have played the Spyro Trilogy, you know how annoying that sound is. And you know what that means. Because nine times out of ten, if you hear that, you're about to fucking hate your life. Ow! There's one thing about that I don't like about the trilogy is the fact that how, like, Quick, the camera is. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. I'm so glad from Spyro 2 onwards they changed that. gonna kill this guy. We are gonna kill this guy. Come on. Come on, you little back sack of shit. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Get back here. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. So we have four or three left. Okay. Let's see. Whee! When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. <coughs> that could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I'll say this now, what I mean by 100%, when I when I say I'm gonna keep the game, is I'm not gonna go if I when I be, I'm gonna try to collect everything I can in a run in a run or in an area. But if I like miss a gem or two, I'm not gonna go back to I'm not gonna go back in and try to find it. I've just I want to go ahead and clarify that now. I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna go I'm not gonna go searching for that one elusive gem that uh, is missing. I'm not a completionist by any freaking means. There's another channel here on YouTube that, uh, that is based around that kind of stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead before we head that direction. I believe there's somebody down here. Yep, we're right there. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. 
I love Spyro's reaction to half the people in this game. It's like, yeah, sure, nice. <laughs> okay. I think we're practically done here. Gotta do a little bit more exploring real quick. Make sure I'm not missing anything. all the dragons pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, 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 no. Shut up, shut up, shut, shut the fucking up. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Okay. We're done with that world. Yeah, Spyro 1. We're going to be breezing through Spyro 1 probably a lot quicker. Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 are where we're going to probably spend a lot more of our time. Namely Spyro 2 because I love that game so damn much that I might end up completing it a second time all the way through. But um, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> I missed it. God damn it. Fuck my life. Get out of my way, sheep. Oh, yeah! That feels good. You picked a fight you didn't even know you picked. Dark Hollow. Entering Dark Hollow. Yeah, unlike Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, gems in this game aren't really that as, like, needed as the other games. Like, gems are just kind of, you, you collect them to collect them. Fucking song. I have so many fucking memories of this song. Dumbass. Like, this is the song that I grew up with when I was playing, when I used to play Spyro when I was younger. This was always my favorite. I love this song. That was close. That almost did it badly for me. Goodbye. Oh, it's Leo. <coughs> I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. No kidding. You don't freaking say. You don't say. So what you're telling me is, if I try to breathe fire on him, it ain't gonna fucking work? Liar. It worked. <laughs> I know I hit him while he just fucking... Oh, God damn it. I 
forgot about that. You gotta love how a lot of these enemies are the, in this in these games, the fu enemies die in one hit. If you guys are wondering why I glide before attacking like that, you actually move a little bit quicker um, with a glide than you do with a normal with normal trots. You just move slightly quicker, which allows you to get closer to those guys before you flame, which just makes it it makes it easier for you to actually get your hits off. Because if you get hit by them, they you take it. It's just one of those things where it's just a. It's a pain in the ass trying to deal with them if you can't if you can't close the distance quick enough. I'll be honest with you, I did not think I hit him. I did not think I hit him. <laughs> Let's go. Psst. Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <clears throat> your secret is safe. No kid. Oh, God. Damn it. Ow. Sorry, Sparks. That was kind of on me. I hit the damn thing. Of course I hit the damn thing. Why would I not hit the damn thing? Let's try this again, shall we? Booyah. And I got gems over there. Okay. Let's... Oh, I forgot about the chest. I have the key. I had this key, I might as well get the chest. <laughs> Booyah! Da, 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 da. Let's go! Enemies like this Nork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. There you go. Okay. Well, I actually completed the I completed the world water set. There you go. So, like I said, guys, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll try to collect stuff stuff as I go, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to go finding every little fucking thing. If I spot stuff, I'll grab it. If not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be going for I'm not gonna go back to worlds to complete the 100 percent Along with all the along with the uh, action stages, the flying sections. Those flying sections would take up an entire episode by themselves if I went to do those. So with that said, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call the first episode here. I got the first couple worlds done, and we we made a little, we made a decent amount of progress already. We've collected ten dragons, got an egg, and uh, collected some gems. Some time. Oh, shoot. We've only been playing for 12 minutes. Fuck. I thought it's been longer than that. Shit. What the hell? Why has nobody told me this? 
It's so diabolical. Okay, guys, but seriously, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, this will be my first. This is my. This is gonna be my test episode for Spyro. I will officially be back, and I'll be playing some more of it later. But it's just for now. For now, I want to just gauge how long it'll take me to complete levels. Um, the next episode, um, depending on how long this one ran, I might run. I might make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. I'm aiming for about 20 to 30 minutes on my episodes, similar to my uh, Sexy Brutal and my Crash, and some of my Crash, my early Crash ep Bandicoot episodes. I'm trying to aim them for about 30 minutes long, so I'll make uh, I'll make calibrations and kind of adjust that as uh, as the game goes by. So, with that said, guys, have yourselves a wonderful night, morning, day, whatever time it is. And remember to stay sane. Link to the past zero. Out.